Cake by Sue Hendra and Paul Lynette. This is Cake. Now, when I'm reading it, make sure you're looking in the background for other pictures of other foods. Here we go. Cake had just received an exciting invitation. You are invited to a party. He'd never been to a party before, so he didn't know what to expect. But he was sure about one thing. He wanted to look his best. Fish didn't know what Cake should wear. He'd never been to a party either. Hmm, said Fish. Nope. I don't think so. What about a hat? suggested Fish. Good thinking, said Cake. So off Cake went to buy a hat. Cake tried on lots of hats in the shop. But none of them were quite right. Is it for a special occasion? asked the shop assistant. A wedding, perhaps? No, said Cake. A party. Oh, said the shop assistant. In that case, I have just the thing. And he disappeared out the back. Here you go, sir, said the shop assistant. You'll be irresistible in this. Thank you very much, said Cake. He couldn't wait to get home and show Fish his new hat. Are you ready? Cake called from his bathroom. Ta-da! You done it, shouted Fish. Cake was soon on his way to the party, dressed in his new hat. Diddly-dee, diddly-dum, I'm off to a party to have some fun. Cake was a bit nervous when he arrived. But when everyone saw him, they cheered, Cake's here! A party isn't a party without cake, they said, and in he went. Cake was having so much fun at the party. There was dancing and lots of games. But then the singing started. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cake was getting a bad feeling about this. Oh, crumbs! And suddenly, there was a gust of wind, and everything went black. Then, there was a smell of raspberries. And Cake felt a wibbly-wobbly hand grab hold of his. And a wibbly-wobbly voice said, Quick! Run for it, Cake! Did you see all of these characters in the book? Meanwhile, back at the front door, ding dong! I hope I haven't missed the party! What do you think might happen next?